Hello and students, welcome to another lesson or video rather. We have a question here uh, talking about the electronic configurations. So figure 1.1, 1 .1, it shows the electronic configurations of five atoms D, E, F, G and H. So answer the questions about these electronic configurations. Each electronic configuration may be used once, more than once or not at all. State which electronic configuration among those it represents a so number one an atom of an element in the group six of the periodic table now anytime we talk about group we are talking about the number of outermost you know, electrons so just count check which one has got six electrons in the outermost show sure. all right so if you count here there's only two here there are four here there are one two three four five six seven eight here there are one, two, three, four, five, six. Here there's only one. So this one has got six electrons in the outer shape, which determines the group. So that one is G. Next, an atom that forms an ion that gives a lilac color in a flame. <laughs> mm. Now this one might might test you on the flames of certain elements, especially group one element, what they make when they're exposed to a fire well when you talk about the, the lilac itself color it usually associated with the potassium and the potassium is found in group one which makes h the correct one looking at how many number of electrons it has in the outermost shell all right next an atom of monoatomic gas when you say mono we mean one atom gas all right so now let's look here so we've got uh, d e f g and h which one do you think is it now this one Anytime you hear mono, my, I, when I was in grade 12 myself, I just used to go to group 8 elements because, well, those guys are very much mono. So, and because it has got a full outer electron shell. All right. So that means it's F, right? Yes, it's F. An atom of an element that is used in the tr treatment of the domestic water supply to remove taste and the or do all right i think that one we know now which one hmm? let's start checking hmm? d this fun group two yeah so this one no this one no we can't use it this one is found in group six and this one no this one is found in group four and it has got six total number of electrons. We don't have chlorine here. Chlorine is not used for that. All right. So from the periodic table, all right, um, an element with uh, four electrons. I'm checking right now on the periodic table. Um, it's beryllium. Yeah, that's beryllium. Uh, ah, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes. Yeah, that, yeah, that's beryllium. This one. So that goes one, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, not four, but it's. So, sorry, it, it, it has four electrons in the outer shell, but it has got six electrons total. Which one? Carbon. Carbon, 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 which is E, which is true. An atom that forms a stable ion by losing two electrons. Which one here can form a stable ion by losing two electrons? Which one? It's this one. Once this one loses two electrons, remember, losing of electrons is one associated with metals. All right. So this one can undergo. This one cannot. This one cannot. This one cannot. So only this and this one can undergo but this one can only lose one because it has got only one in the outer shell this one can lose two because it has got two in the outer shell that means d is the correct one d is the correct one now we are here deduce the number of protons and neutrons in the chromium atoms shown so the 53 here that you are seeing there is what we call the mass number or the relative atomic mass and the 24 here that you are seeing here is actually the proton number proton number stroke the electron number 
another books you are going to find is written as an atomic number it's still the same all right so the number of protons is actually just 24. neutrons remember that in the nucleus of an atom we have neutrons and protons this they result to the mass of an of an atom this means that the mass is 53 so if we put 53 there we know what p is 24 so if i make n the subject of the formula i'll be getting 53 uh, minus 24 uh, that will give me 29 so number of neutrons is just 29 so we put 29 there and that's like that your score the full seven marks